Hello everyone, welcome to the series of uh, course review with Kamath. So in this series, the idea is to get the overview of the course from the students who are already studying it. Basically, a lot of us, when we apply for abroad studies, we want to know what exactly the course has. So firstly, we try to get the information from the website of the universities. However, we also try to get in touch with the seniors who are already studying in the course so that we get the first hand information directly from them. In most of the cases, you guys uh, try to ping us in LinkedIn and it gets sometimes difficult for the seniors to reply to everyone in, over the LinkedIn. So in this series, the students from different universities uh, come over and then they explain about their course, give their insights and help you possibly to find a good course and find a right match for your profile. So in the first episode of this series, I have with me Guru Simran Singh, who is also one of my closest friends over the past 10 years. We have studied together during our engineering and also have worked together and also left the company together. So in this first episode, Guru Simran Singh, who is currently studying computational engineering at uh, Ruhr University Bochum will give his thoughts on the course and we see how it goes. Uh, I I welcome you Guru to this first episode. Hello. Hello everyone. Yep. So yeah, thank you for inviting me for this dialogue or uh, yeah, conversation uh, about my course and study here in Germany. So like from a brief introduction from my side, I am Gursimran. Uh, like Kiran even, I am from India and I came here in Germany in 2019, October. And I started here my master's in computational engineering at the University of Bochum. So, yeah, now, like Yakiran said that we both worked together in India, like for around two years, I worked and then Kiran worked for another year and then he even he left. So we have quite a similar timeline, just different courses in different universities and we are both at Germany right now. So yeah, Kiran, how would you like to proceed? So, uh, Guru, the idea is, uh what what would a student think when he wants to join a course so initially we all have gone through this process and uh, initially we try to find the right university for us so i think it would be a good uh, start if you could tell the viewers uh, that which all courses did you apply or look for okay so the basic idea from my from my side while well, when i was applying for universities was to apply for a course that was basically concentrated in the re, uh, domain of uh, computational engineering like uh, computational mechanics and so forth mm -hmm. so like i looked up and uh, i found out that there were quite a few courses like uh, there is a course available at stuttgart university called komas okay and there is also a course offered by tu munchen mm -hmm. which is called computation sciences and engineering okay also there is a similar course but a paid course in rvt hathan okay which is called uh, uh, kame mm -hmm. came uh, yeah yeah came and then there is the course for, for which i am doing right now Mm -hmm. Compang from Ruri Hilted Bochum. So basically, uh, I applied for Commerce, mm -hmm. uh, do you mention that is Computation Sciences Engineering mm -hmm. and uh, Compang. These were the only three courses that I applied for because uh, after doing uh, some research and uh, uh, yeah, I found out that they passed be best for me. The course content was good enough. Mm -hmm. It uh, had a concentration on the domain that I wanted to do my master's in. Okay, so then uh, was this the only university that you got the acceptance or were there any other universities that you got and then you chose this over the others? Okay, so uh, I got acceptance from this comping and also from the TU Mention course. Okay. But uh, the TU Mention course was uh, like, uh, like I didn't get the exact acceptance in one go, like there was a uh, initial intermediate step in which there is some point system at you mentioned in which you have to get more than some 60 points out of 100 mm -hmm. so my score was 57 or something in the first uh uh first uh, what do you call it uh first stage yeah, when, they, when they reviewed my application mm -hmm. so my first initial score was like some 57 mm -hmm. so then uh in this stage they usually call people for the second interview like they just want to know if we actually know about the course or even that happened and I got into that course also. So these were the two that I got in 
and i basically selected the comping course over the tu mentioned course uh, so basically uh, when you applied for this course for sure you would have gone thoroughly through the course contents and structure and also possibly yeah. might have spoken to some of the seniors so uh, when we are back in india we do not exactly know how it is even though we have gone through all the details now after finishing the course uh, all the subjects uh, uh, do you find any difference or would you like to give some uh, hints on the course or what is the course exactly about to the viewers okay, okay. so here i would like to briefly explain another reason why i wanted to uh, pursue my masters in this direction Mm -hmm. so in india uh, we both worked in uh, mercedes so there we used to observe lots of our colleagues they used to work with some tools like uh, ls dyna and stuff and then they used to perform some cool simulations and then they look out the results that seemed quite interesting to me mm -hmm. but um, nah, yeah for doing that there are two uh, ways out either you can just simply obtain the tool knowledge without knowing how the tool is working or what has a background or what what actually is the theory behind the tool and what is the concepts you can simply learn the tool and then just get a job yeah. or else you can do your masters to actually understand what exactly is happening behind the scene mm -hmm. and then join some company being much more informed about what all decisions you will be making with the results okay so that's why that was the basic interesting part for me and then i wanted to pursue that so yeah i looked up the course content at comping <clears throat> so the main focus here is basically in the fem direction okay mm -hmm. and material modeling so yeah that was quite yeah the positive side and then yeah that's why i chose this course and uh, uh, if we talk about the course content there are it's composed of like 90 credit points for the courses and then 30 for your master mm -hmm. thesis out of these 90 credit points there are a few which are compulsory subjects which all the students need to pass mm -hmm. and then comes some of the optional and compulsory optional subjects uh coming to the compulsory subjects there are like like i told <clears throat> the basic theory of finite element uh, method then there is some mathematical subjects like uh, how are exactly the partial differential equations solved so there is one subject totally half of that then there is material modeling even that's quite interesting subject uh, because in that you uh, learn how basically some material models are um, made out of some basic uh, building blocks like springs dampers then some viscoelasticity elements and so on then comes a very interesting course on programming okay so this programming course is not just simply some developer based course it is basically focused on uh, build how exactly a uh, solver like basically a finite element solver is made mm -hmm. so it is focused on that and uh, the the language we are taught is java mm -hmm. uh, it's a quite interesting course i would say and yeah if anyone who wants to even pursue some development uh, uh, later on in the, in his career can, should pay attention to this subject while yeah you can just somehow make your own project out of it and then showcase in your github or something and then yeah it might be helpful for getting a job as a developer also the only subject that i didn't like uh, during the compulsory subjects was uh, steel mm -hmm. so this was basically quite uh, a civil uh, engineering based subject mm -hmm. uh, it's not in my opinion that that helpful for the people who are interested in uh, pursuing the mechanical direction like automotive and stuff mm -hmm. and in the first year also we are offered a course on tensors okay so this i would say is quite uh, important because tensors is basically the building block over which the finite element theory is based so you need to have a good grip of this tensors and variational calculus if you want to understand what is happening in uh, yeah behind the solvers so this were the courses that uh, are offered here in the university in the first semester mm -hmm. so after you have achieved all these compulsory subjects you can now focus on what you want to do ahead as your optional or compulsory optional subjects mm -hmm. you can choose your direction uh, like basically what you want to focus on okay mm -hmm. so here i started taking a few courses which were uh, more focused towards parallel programming multi uh, um, like sol like uh, yeah uh, object oriented programming okay. and also some plasticity subject parallel computing like i told mm -hmm. uh, 
So this I took basically because uh, the solvers that uh, function to uh, solve the explicit solutions, they uh, they are not just uh, yeah work on one core. They usually divide the work in multiple cores and then it's solved. So you need to even know how that is done. So RUB offers a course, Comping offers a course in that direction also. And the good thing about this course is that uh, you can you you need you need not write any exam in the end. Uh -huh. You basically get a project. Okay. You work on this project as a team, and then team of three people, and then you present it in the end. And then there is a oral viva on this project, and yeah, some basic questions about the course. So basically, it is a, a pass, or once you give the presentation, you either get pass or fail. Like the, no, no, you get a grade. You get a grade. You get a grade. Based okay. On your project, yeah. How good your project was? What was the content? Like what was your program like? Uh -huh. Like what exactly you achieved out of your uh, yeah project? So based upon that, you grade you get proper grade out of one to five. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I think you answered most of the the basic questions which many students have about uh, what exactly the course contains and how it yeah. is. So to summarize, uh, as I understood, this course uh, in an overall sense helps you to understand how exactly a finite element uh, uh, software works or what is what is the background to it what is the mechanics behind it and possibly in future you even if you are running the simulation you know exactly why it gives what results and exactly yeah and uh, also i'd like to add here that not just using the software basically you can prepare your own software. models like you can write your own subroutine and then you can submit it like compile it through c, c language or fortran and then you can make your own subroutine and solve the your own material model you can add a, your own material model and then try to see how it behaves to uh, um, put it in simple words you are sort of developing a software yourself so, yeah you can see that yeah yeah okay so yeah th this information for sure uh, clears a lot of things for uh, students who are just out of bachelors or yeah, yeah, yeah. have one or two years of experience and want to get into the course. I would like to also add that yeah, there are a few subjects available in the direction of computational fluid dynamics also. Mm -hmm. But I would say that yeah, they are not that deep. Like they okay. won't give you a proper depth of the CFD. You will just be on the surface and then yeah, won't be that helpful in my opinion. Okay. But for computation mechanics, yeah, it's a quite uh, yeah in depth syllabus we have here. Okay, so uh, uh, one question which which many students might have normally is that uh, with the amount of knowledge which we have only with bachelors, uh, is it really difficult to do this course, complete this course? Uh, I know I am interested in the course, uh, okay. but uh, I when I see the subject content it might feel like difficult from far away but uh, what is your take on this like uh, uh, once you get into the uni how do you find okay. it in my opinion yeah you don't need any experience to do all this actually it's better if you just come fresh out of college and do this course because then you are much more fresh with all the mathematical concepts and you need not refresh your memory again and okay. uh, work harder to just understand what's happening otherwise like even for me i was a bit lost in the beginning okay i forgot almost all my differential equations and stuff so i had to refresh them a bit to come up to the par okay. i would say yeah so it's not at all a problem if you're fresher or work experienced yeah okay so uh, you clearly mentioned uh, points about uh, uh, which in which area you you would gain experience if you take this course and what is this course consisting of which are few of the subjects which uh, might are interesting, which might not be interesting for different area students. One yeah. other question which uh, many of us normally have when we apply is, uh, what are the different stream students that apply for this particular course? Like uh, in your course, do you see students only from mechanical engineering background or also other backgrounds? Okay, uh, from my in my course, I would say there there is a majority like yeah, like there is a majority of mechanical and civil students. Mm -hmm. Then there come also a few people who have done power engineering in their bachelors. Mm -hmm. There are also some four, three, four people who have done mathematics, like pure maths background. Okay. And they take up this course and they are doing quite good, I would say. Yeah, they don't face any problem as such. Okay. So because are... I would say yeah, most of the course content is quite mathematical. So they have a bit of an edge because they actually know the maths much better than us we are mechanical and civil students 
so basically construction engineering background mechanical engineering and uh, mathematics uh, related background students are more in predominant in this course uh, I yeah say. okay yeah. that's great so uh, the next question most important for most of us when we uh, leave a job or directly come to uh, germany after bachelors is that what next after master studies so uh, can you give a bit of overview on what uh, companies or what domains people start to get into which type of uh, sectors people get job in after finishing this course can okay, you name yeah, a few a bit of a difficult question because uh, mm -hmm. As far as my knowledge goes, like uh, most of my seniors somehow get into PhD, okay. like they start pursuing their doctorate. Okay. Uh, I know a guy who recently got into uh, Zurich, like TU Zurich, uh, mm -hmm. ETH Zurich, sorry. So he got into ETH Zurich, then uh, I would say like some people are directly, directly they join the doctoral positions here at the university itself mm -hmm. and some of the other chair so they get some opening there and they just start working as a doctor doctorate candidate there in the university in the rub mm -hmm. um, a few i would say they, they, they somehow switch to software development okay then there are a few who get into like yeah like the dean slicers like the mm -hmm. Uh, like the companies that work for the oems okay. for getting the task like the so, computational tasks mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say that's quite pretty much the the as far as the situation goes right now. Yeah, okay. That, that gives a fair amount of idea for sure. Like uh, for those who, uh, of us who do not have any idea, this this bit of information is for sure helpful. And uh, yeah, uh, so coming uh, to the Indians who apply for this course, uh, one of the many questions that we get is. Uh, what is the CGPA requirement in general when we apply? Like it is always better to know if or not uh, students of my CGPA in the past have got admission. So then I can decide whether to spend a lot of time uh, on applying or uh, whether just not to apply because on the based, uh, based on the past data, if there is no chance, then sometimes it makes sense not to waste time. So do you have some kind of idea uh, seeing the yeah. juniors you are patching okay so here there comes like yeah even in india we have such disparity so if a person who is applying is from tier one college cit or some old nit which okay. is quite good so i've heard that even like in my batch there was there, there was a guy who had a gp of like 7.5 to 8 okay. even he got it Mm -hmm. uh, so if you are from that tier college, you can just simply apply even with the 8 GP and be sure that you will get an admit. Okay. And for tier 2 colleges, like regular colleges, I would say if your GPA is more than 9, mm -hmm. yeah, I would say you'd get an acceptance for sure. Yeah, most probably you'll get it. Okay. Unless there is some yeah, huge gap in your whole, uh, as I would say this whole CV mm -hmm. and you can't explain that gap, then there might be a bit of a problem. Otherwise, yeah, I would say you'll get an acceptance. Okay, so basically, uh, if you are from tier two college and have uh, CGPA less than nine, then the slant chances are bleak. That's what. Yeah, um, like looking at this right, right now because of Corona situation, I would say it has gone a bit low, like maybe eight point five or something. Okay. okay. But pre previously it was like yeah, if you have more than nine, yeah, you will get acceptance. Otherwise, yeah, most probably a reject from okay. RUB. One other question which most of us uh, back in India would have is uh, what are the, yeah uh, you have studied the regular courses uh, which are mentioned in your credits what apart from this is available in the university can you study more courses if you want to extend the semesters or do some other, other uh, activities like participating uh, in uh, student race car teams or how is it yeah. this situation okay yeah, yeah yeah perfect so yeah i would say like yeah once you come to rub you have like plethora of options available there are lots of things you can do mm -hmm. so my interest was in computational mechanics so i took this direction otherwise after in the optional courses you can even start taking courses which are related to machine learning computer vision mm -hmm. which are offered by the informatic department okay. you can definitely take those courses and there are also options to go into the like direction of vibrations okay. dynamics mm -hmm. you can even go into that direction you can start taking optional and compulsory option courses which are all related to your uh, requirements and your needs so yeah that's another option 
uh, yeah, basically you can take any course you need in the whole of university. You can take it as an optional course. Okay. And you can just tell the examination office that yeah, I'm taking this course at so and so department, and then please just add my credits to my uh, yeah, Bishani Boom. So they will just do that. It's quite easy. Okay. Now coming to other activities like clubs and all. Yeah, you have this uh, motorsport team. Mm -hmm. So when I joined it, I worked there for like five months. Okay. It's quite easy. Like it's not as hectic as we do in India. Like okay. here, people they willingly come and work, and it's not like a force. Like in India, they used to say that you have to be here from evening six o'clock till night twelve o'clock. It's nothing like that. Do you people willingly take the responsibility and then they complete their task? So it's quite different and I would say quite better in this aspect. Uh, apart from this motorsport events, I would say you can even join the uh, what do you call this organization team? Mm -hmm. Like basically the Fachman shaft of the course. Like you can become the president, the vice president, or something like. There are just uh, uh, simple elections for that. You can just stand up if you are interested in the organization part, and then you can just. They develop the course a bit, okay. so there is also an opportunity to do that. Okay. Yeah, I would say yeah. These are the things I, that I know of. Otherwise, I would say there are many more things available. For sure, for sure. This is also something which uh, I feel is important to know beforehand what it, the university provides uh, with respect to other things. Of course, there are other things such as accommodation and such which we do not want to ponder in this video. Uh, there, are, this information is already available more or less uh, when searched. So uh, uh, the one last question uh, in this uh, session that I would like to know is, yes, uh, of course, uh, when I joined my course, uh, I had a lot of positives. However, uh, there are some disappointments which we also find normally over a period of time. When we come from India, we think, okay, this is one of the area which I want to uh, learn a lot about, but then you find in the university, maybe it is not, too much concentrated on for example mm -hmm. so were there any dis small disappointments which you felt in the course because this information is something which not everyone speaks about everyone speaks about how good the course is if you're talking to a random stranger everyone says their course is the best they do yeah. not want to say something uh, which was slightly disappointing for them was there something which you would like to highlight uh, on on the whole it was overall a good experience i would say too negative there was nothing uh, just yeah like regular like if you are out of India you have no experience of taking the examinations in Germany so mm -hmm. that becomes quite a quite a challenging task because the exams are quite half as hard mm -hmm. I would say like yeah in the beginning okay. I was not prepared for them but yeah they went okay <laughs> not that bad so yeah that's the only thing I would say yeah okay. other than that yeah that's it if you have made up your mind that's good enough yeah if you just know what you want to do and you somehow find out the course that suits you it would you would just simply thrive on it yeah you, you won't yeah suffer a lot i would say okay thank you guru i think uh, uh, it was a wonderful uh, talk and uh, it, it, it for me as well it was wonderful to know a lot of things about uh, your uh, university and the course that you are studying for sure, uh, information will be of helpful for a lot of students uh, or prospective people who are applying in future. Uh, one yeah. last thing which I would like to know is, uh, uh, for sure you have answered a lot of questions, but uh, if someone has many more questions and uh, uh, how can they reach you? Uh, the idea here is uh, to help uh, as many as people possible, um, but uh, not manner so if they post their questions uh, in the YouTube section uh, uh, can they expect uh, a reply from you once in a month over their comments is it a possibility that we can look at yeah, yeah definitely I have no problem with that I'll, I'll I would like to help out the people who have questions and then yeah like you said if uh, yeah I get time like once in two weeks or something like that I'll just go through the comments and then try to answer best to my knowledge what i know and sure, yeah, try to sure. clarify those quotes. that that would be really helpful i think yeah. the basic main idea for me was that all the students uh, send questions to our individual uh, linkedin profiles and it gets too difficult for us to reply the to the same question every time to different people so it takes a lot yeah. of time in that case so with this attempt uh, what i am trying to do here is uh, bridge the gap between uh, seniors and juniors uh, the difficulties which we faced uh, 
should not be faced by the next uh, upcoming batches is the whole idea and uh, to give something back to the students and make their life a bit easy and help them achieve their own goals or dreams so uh, with that i think uh, i come to the end of this session i would like to thank you very much for uh, being the first person to be on this series of uh, course review with kamath and uh, i am sure uh, this information which you have passed will be a lot helpful for many of the students and uh, i i really appreciate your time and effort in uh, forwarding the message or passing on the information thank you very much yeah, yeah. yep you're most welcome yep i happy to do that okay now, if you guys uh, find this session or information helpful please like share and subscribe to the channel and also share this information with the other students who are looking for such information so that this video reaches the people who really need it so thank you everyone for watching this till the end and uh, good luck to you guys into this